piles is basically a disease when the patient comes to us that he is something coming out of his uh, anal opening after passing stool or he gets a severe pain after passing stool or there is bleeding which is not stopping after passing stool or especially after straining for the stool so these are the com three common symptoms some of the persons come that there is some discharge coming just around the anus and they tell they they have piles but exactly these are not piles they are having fistula problems uh, which through which they are getting this discharge the treatment of these three things varies if it's a piles like uh, which we call as hemorrhoids there is bleeding there is something coming out through the anus and uh, there is a specific history of constipation or if the disease is in the family or uh, the patient has a uh, like a prolonged sitting problems they can develop these things so for the piles the treatment we are offering is uh, either if the piles is grade one very small piles we just try to give them medicine and uh, try to treat it if it is increases to grade two or grade three then there are different procedures available one is in the form of digital lig ligation of hemorrhoidal artery the hemorrhoids which has occurred we just from the artery from the root cause we ligate this we stop the blood supply and this piles gets cured if the piles have come become very come much out if it's coming protruding protruding and patient is getting uh, the uh, a lot of symptoms like they are they have to manually reposition whatever is coming out and uh, the bleeding part is high so after evaluation many of them we give offer a, a minimal invasive procedure which is known as stapler hemorrhoidectomy this is another procedure which we offer uh, for the prolapsed piles and patient get uh, very good results with this and piles get cured the major problem with piles patient is they tend to shy away with the problems they don't know whom to talk they they always keep on bleeding but they feel shy that they think that they have done some mistake because of which this has happened i i tell i tell them that uh, you don't think you don't make yourself responsible constipation or whatever the issues are there it may be uh, the cause of this thing and uh, you are not responsible for it and if even if the causes are there then if we uh, educate them regarding what are the causes they get the treatment done and the, if the uh, treatment is surgical we do the surgery many a times most of the patients we try to treat just by medicine but if it has uh, crossed a limit then maybe this patient requires surgery and surgery is a very good answer they they get 100% cure out of it. we evaluate like if the patient is having a severe bleeding their hemoglobin levels are falling down i have seen many patients be because they are just shying of the problem they are not telling they are not going to the doctors and uh, their hemoglobin keep on falling their hemoglobin which was supposed to be more than 12 can become up to 4 and which that hemoglobin is dangerous for the life they can become congestive they can get heart failure because of this uh, patient has come to us they come with a problem of heart failure and when they, we analyze them we get to know from their history that they had piles piles uh, can be basic uh, can be life threatening i have seen patients who have come to me with a problem when they have their hemoglobin is reduced to an amount that it is it becomes 4 to 5 and they they uh, develop the heart failure thing and they primarily come to us with a heart failure and when we analyze them we get to know that they he had piles and he was continuously bleeding out of that so another problem which can be these piles which hemorrhoids can become infected